This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutation viewers, Voldemort back here with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In the previous episode, we explored a bit of the Undercity, uh, Undercity and uh, talked to some of the residents there and found out a little bit more about what was going on. We also, due to some luck or strange coincidence, we ran into Mission Val almost immediately as upon leaving the city. She said her friend Zalbar was in danger, and we shall go help her. But first, we must explore the rest of the Undercity to, uh, well, just to... You know, find everything, secure everything, and make sure we grabbed all the items, because that's what we're here for. Experience and items. By the way, in the last episode, I probably forgot to mention a little few things about the scoundrel class that probably weren't made aware. Uh, one, Mission Vow is also another light side character, so you have to keep that in mind. Basically, whenever you get characters, seeing their kind of, uh, like, how they uh, how they are on the, uh, you know, the, the light side chamber kind of dictates their, uh, design like her and Karth are kind of in the same uh in terms of good not like pure good but they've at least got good intentions at heart while me i still got some work to do anyway now the reason why now you're probably asking why is missions defense 20 i mean she's only got dex of three and she's wearing armor of plus five well there's a special feat that scoundrels get unique only to them it's actually a pretty good feat uh it's called scoundrels luck basically it gives them basically a plus two to defense uh, no matter what happens, even if they get uh, basically attacked or whatever. It's a way to give scoundrels a bit of extra defense in the game, so they're not completely hosed. But to still play a scoundrel is still one of the harder classes to play, in my personal opinion. Uh, but the other thing I forgot to mention is I was mentioning sneak attacks in the game. You're probably like, what does that even mean? Well, this is the feat that, that does it. What sneak attack do, does is basically if the attacker is unaware or you attack him from behind, stun or immobilized, you get a special uh, bonus. You have to be decently close, so ranged, even though if you're far away blasters, you need to get at least to some vicinity. Uh, sneak attack almost works better with melee, but it says within 10 meters it works. But anyway, basically, sneak attack, every time she hits, she gets to add 2d12, uh, or sorry, 2d12, I'm using D&D terms, which is the game's based off of 2 to 12 points of extra damage, as long as she's, so it may seem she's weak, but if you put her in the right position in combat, she can actually do quite a bit of damage. So, like I said before, placing is very important when it comes to Scandal's class. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's explore the rest of the Undercity before we try to find Zalbar. Um, looks like we got a few rat ghouls off in the distance here, as you can see. We'll, we'll encounter them here in a second, uh, as soon as we make a good plan. Now, what I like to do in situations like these, since these things are yeah, mainly honey. melee, what I like to do is... Uh, depending on their grouping, if they're grouped pretty close together, I want Ready. I usually want to uh, um, grenade them. However, they're pretty far apart, and I'm not going to get a good grouping out of the way. So what I want to do is I basically want to range attack them. Now, one way you could do it with mission is stealther and shoot them and maybe run away and wait for the other companions to attack them. But, um, you know, at this position, I would rather just... Basically, I want to shoot them as they charge towards me. Huh? Oops, oops, I forgot to pause. Yes. I didn't want my character to run into combat. Now what I do is basically... Now you could do this, if you're playing easy mode, it won't matter as much, but what I like to do is I like to basically keep Karth in mission. At least if you're playing ranged characters, by the way. I want them to basically stay back and just ranged, and then switch to me, and basically don't do anything. Because, you know, since they poison you, I don't want to take the extra damage. So I'm basically just luring them towards me. So usually, depending on your situation, well, they didn't hit this time. Uh, uh, they were hitting actually pretty poorly there. What what I was trying to do was trying to basically get them to do some damage, and then by the time they get to me, I might be able to finish them off or take a little damage. But sometimes it doesn't always work. It's the roll of the die, as it were. I mean, seriously, it's a roll of the die. All right, so let's lay Karth's back on regular pistols. Yeah. And we'll just have her do that, because she her sniper shot isn't strong enough to be worth using it at this level. Oh yeah, well I guess if we're doing it now, might as well Ready. have her attack from behind. Wow. Ah, she Ready. got poisoned. Whoops! Yeah. I was so stuck on on a sure. on a <laughs> on a the the pa the switch button. I forgot to pause it instead, and unfortunately, Cart took some poison, but it's not too much. Not the most um, best use of the. Uh, of a fight, but that's the way to go about it if you have uh, uh, melee combatants who just go straight into melee. So anyway, yeah. yeah, not the best fight to explain that, but that's pretty much it. Now we got our, uh, another counter with bombs. Since we have mission and she's really good at demolition, 
Uh, depending on your rank, you can either straight up disable mines if you barely have the chance to see them and use them. This will just get rid of the mine. Now what I want to do, and you should, if for money purposes this is probably the best way to do it, is to try to recover the mine if you can. Mission skills are pretty high, especially with their intelligence bonus. She should, in most cases, as long as you at least upgrade her demolitions all the time, what? it'll Ready? usually upgrade that. Sure. So, Now the reason I say collect them, recover is one, why not? Two, if you're playing a, a play of the game where you're doing more stealthy stuff, like you could off, uh, like one one tactic is to go stealth, go get close to enemies, plant uh, plant like a couple of grenades, maybe shoot them and run away, and they'll run into the frag grenades. Like with these guys, you could do that. However, with my strategy, I don't really need to do that. But that's one way to do it. No, the way I use mines is I sell them for extra money. They sell for a decent amount depending on the mines you grab. So if you're having money troubles, selling mines is the best way to go, I think. Or one of the ways to go, other than Pazak, for example. So you don't have to do that. If you like using mines, that's fine. It's not great game breaking that you have the you have the mines. I'm just giving you an option. Okay. Now here we got a couple more rat ghouls. A lot of them are pretty well grouped. Oh, well they were. I should have thrown them in my bomb. I might wait a few seconds to see if I can get them to group again. I don't want to get too close because they might uh, oh, but, uh, dang it. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to, like, uh, range them from here, but, uh, looks like I got, looks like I got too close. Well, my strategy was to throw a grenade into the pile and then do, like, what I did before, you know, have the, uh, have Karth and then blast them while, while I lured them to them, but, uh, oh well, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> Did I pull the rest of them too? Yep, he did. Okay, well. Alright, Kara, thanks for... Thanks for pulling everyone else. Great. Well, I mean, I didn't need to grenade him. I just... I was gonna do that for the purposes of, a. Uh, what? I'm gonna... Basically, I'm just gonna stay here until... Until they get close enough and then basically start whacking on them. Man, what the heck, man? I was doing this in, in uh... Before, I was, uh... Whoops. Uh -huh. In uh, in practice, I was I was easily killing these guys without taking like any damage, and I seem to be just uh, just getting hit by everyone today. Oh well, sometimes uh, sometimes planning just doesn't uh, doesn't happen. You know? Luckily, we're pretty high level, um, so it's not too bad. But still, I, I try not to take as much damage as I can, even though I could easily go back and heal. But now that we kill those rat ghouls, we can grab a couple of things that they were guarding. Weirdly enough, even though Candor's mentions uh, mentions that they're trying to find the Republic drop like point to salvage them, this isn't where it is. It's somewhere else, but whatever. Anyway, we get two items here. We get some Ando kits, always nice for poison, and we get the Promised Land Apprentice Journal. Yes, remember that uh, Rukil was looking for that. Oh, that means his apprentice died out here in the other city. No, sorry. Uh, hopefully, whatever your whatever your thing says will uh, will give us some information. Let's see what uh, what it has to say. This journal details the search for the Promised Land carried out by Rukil's apprentice. Most of the entries are mundane. However, the last entry is quite interesting. I have uncovered evidence that others have been seeking out the fabled land and that their tracks have led them into the sewers. I must decide that I must go there as well. So apparently the Promised Land is something real. It's, well, I mean, in a sense. It's basically in the sewers, probably a place that's... Uh, been ignored by the terrorist government and the people who built the city so long ago. So we'll definitely need to give this to Rukiel. Not now, but we'll we'll have to do that at some point. But uh, let's keep continuing exploring the other city before we uh, uh, kowtow some uh, uh, finish off some uh, quests while we're here. So uh, under city's not too big. Uh, most areas in the game aren't ridiculously huge. Um, they might you you may think they are, but for the most part they're not. Uh, ah, this is the wreckage what uh, they were mentioning before. Perhaps, hopefully, there's something here we can grab. However, it what? seems to be filled what? with uh, with uh, frag grenades or something. Someone must not have wanted to uh, ch us to check it out. Well, we'll use these frag grenades for our own use. Credits, credit, credits. I'm raining in credits. Luckily, we have someone who's uh, good at uh, uh, gathering credits and stuff like that. So anyway, whoops. Let's go back here. Yeah, the sad thing is that the only difference between a lot of character designs is just their heads, <laughs> their body types, because you can equip them with different weapons, they'll just, or different armor, they'll just look just like the armor that they're using, but anyway, a couple more here. Too bad you don't get experience points for, uh, uh, 
disabling bombs. I'm like, I'm trying to remember. There was one game where if you disable traps and stuff like that. Oh no, it was Dragon Age. That was that was the game that you got experience for disabling traps. Well, like I said, it's it's possible. It's used for credits, but man, if only you could get XP for disabling bombs, you. I mean, you wouldn't level that much higher, but it'd definitely be a possibility. So. Yes. Whoa! What the? Uh huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I thought I disarmed what? that. Apparently, I missed one or something. Whoops. Well, it's not like getting all of them is, is paramount what? to uh, to uh, um, to my strategy. I mean, I want a lot of money in Zach for help. There's a survivor. Please, I I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing, like some kind of hideous disease. Oh God, I know what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do for you. I I'll help you, but I need information. Get away from me, you freak! You're a freak! Wait here, I'll see if I can find something to help you. No! No! I can feel it! No! Oh. Well, that sucks for him. Ew, gross. Ew, you got turned into a rat ghoul. Nasty. Anyway, let's uh, finish him off, finish this poor guy off. And we'll uh, up mission. If, if he isn't dead by the time I get him. Okay. Oh, sorry, my targeting assistant was off for a bit. I was gonna. I was gonna get behind her, uh, behind him as a mission and just finish him off, but uh, oh well. Um, I should be able to survive the next couple of encounters. There's a couple more encounters here, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing else in the Republic pod other than a survivor, and he turns into a rat ghoul. Well, he can't tell us about Basil, unfortunately, because he's dead. That's why there's no more dinosaurs, because they're all dead. <laughs> uh oh. Sith. Well, luckily there are security Civilian. papers. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? We should be fine. We got the security papers. That should work for everything, right? Hey, don't get up in my face, man. <laughs> I don't like your tone. I'm here to kill you. You could kill and get the experience. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be non confrontational, so look, I've got the papers you require. Security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Wait a minute, you guys have rat ghoul serum? And there's one, uh, there was a, a patrol around here? Hmm, interesting. You said you lost a patrol? Oh, you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Please disregard the fact that we actually don't have Sith armor on, but we're we're part of we're part of your group. Why don't you just give up? Oh, by the way, that voice actor I forgot the name of the voice actor, but he's voiced like a lot of games for Bioware. I think he's a Canadian uh voice actor, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but anyway. Hey, I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just Talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out. Yeah, we we won't tell if you won't, so uh well, one confrontation we don't have to mess with. Like I said, if you really just want to kill him or you're aggressive and not even dark side, I don't even think it's a dark side to, well, it might be a dark side action to attack him. I usually don't use that option, but if you want a little extra experience too, but and we got some more rat ghouls around here. We'll almost be done with rat ghoul encounters. They're actually not that common in the game. Um, what? Mainly just at this part. Okay, there's not. They're not close enough for a grenade. I don't think. Well, we'll wait a second and see if they get any closer. I have to be careful. They've noticed me so many times in the game by by pure accident. Oh come on! I can't seem to lock. And up. I wish this targeting system was a little bit better. It's probably a bit easier on PC. Ah, that's really not what I want to do, by the way. Okay, well, okay, we'll, we'll flurry him. He's got that going on. I want her to attack him from behind. And... Let's see. Actually, I want to... Want to yes? Him Okay, who's next? All right, yeah. Unfortunately, like I said, I wish the targeting system in the console version, like, if you want to be, like, have the the best, like, strategic, 
like combat, that's really not going to happen for the most part. Um, because, you know, like I said, it's a bit wonky in a lot of cases. Okay. Like I said, I wanted to sneak up on them, or not sneak up on them. I want to get a good position for a grenade throw, but that didn't happen, so. Oh well. Yeah, see, this is my strategy. Basically, I want to, like, lure them away so my range can hit them off. Not so much mission, although she is a decent to hit. Really, Karth is the one I want to finish him off with his, uh, with his attacks. He usually does a pretty good job of it, too. I won't run away from all fights. The only reason I'm running away from them, uh, at least, uh, luring them out with my characters, because of uh, their poison ability. So I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to instigate that if I'm going to do... Now, I could just activate... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops! <sighs> Dang it, game. All right, anyway, so... Okay, I'll... What? Uh... Okay, we'll do that. And like I said, I always want to switch back to me, at least in melee, so that way I have a chance to... Oh, that... Did I pull all of them? Really? Okay, fine. Okay, so I need you to do that. I want her. Yeah, I want her to keep doing that, because she'll get sneak attack damage. And you just keep doing that, Karth. Yeah. Oh, wow. Everyone got it. Okay, fine. Um, phew, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's get rid of all that. Let me frag them. Oh, sure. <sighs> See, this is what I mean. Like, I like this game, I really do, but it, it has its problems. It really does. Like, I've, like, everyone's basically dead, even though that shouldn't have happened. I've done this fight before with, like, perfect, uh, um,. Uh, what's the word with uh with like no damage i i've taken no damage in this fight before but because of the control scheme i almost i've almost died because of that isn't that's annoying like it really is yeah. oh well that hurt i bet okay look at this one more well luckily this is the last fight up up top so eh well sure. you know they're not all perfect so Okay, there should be... Like I said, I did a trial run of this before, and I killed all of them without taking a single hit of damage, and then next time, I one party member dies, and we almost die to poison. What? Okay. There's no one... There's no one here. Luckily, there's no negatives for dying from po uh, from dying in the middle of the area, so I don't care about me dying. I'm just going to heal up before I go back in the sewers anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah, here's the alternate view for the sewers. Uh... There is a benefit to going to one over the other, because uh, you get a chance to kind of get behind, or get to a certain uh, position that you wouldn't normally sure. get if you were, uh, yeah. what? if you straight up went in the sewers from the front, so uh, I'll actually be going through the sewers through that entrance, but anyway, get some uh, credits on computer spikes, excellent. Uh, okay, we got a couple corpses, oh, there's that lost patrol that that guy was mentioning. All right, so we get uh, more med packs. Excellent. Always could use those and computer spikes. And we get, we get a. Uh, now this is kind of random too. Uh, sometimes you'll you'll always get some kind of weapon upgrade and uh, some healing items. But uh, we get a beam splitter for our melee weapons if you need to upgrade to that. We get a heavy combat suit, blaster suit. We also get the rat ghoul serum. That's what we want. Um, we would need this for a couple of missions actually. So. Yeah, remember they mentioned how Sith would have them to go to the underground? Well, now we've got it. So now, if you really want to, you could actually go back above ground and give this to... You could either give it to the doctor to to, uh, to mass-produce it for uh, everyone to use, or you could give it to his assi or you could give it to Zax and get the credits that way. You'll never get as much money if you give it straight... If you give them to... Uh, if you give it to the, the doctor, you just get light save points. Uh, you get more money... If you give it to Zax, and I think you get some dark side points too, if I remember correctly. But remember how this lady, this healer, mentioned that there's some people in here that uh that were infected. Back well, now again. that we got the cure, this... now that we got the cure, we can uh, uh we can uh, give it to them, so we can save them. Your offer is generous, Upworlder, but the serum is useless to us now. The villagers infected with the Rat Ghoul disease have been quarantined beyond this gate. At any moment, they could be transformed into terrible monsters. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. 
The infected ones could transform into rat ghouls and attack them at any moment. I've got to risk it. It's the right thing to do. I can't. S uh, I've, I've already given that answer to her. Let's help them out. I've got the cure. Please help us. We're infected with the rat ghoul disease. At any moment, we could. Uh, no! This cannot be. No! I like how the disease is instantaneous instead of like instead of over over a course of time. It's I know that it's it's a restriction of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, graphics in the game. But anyway, we'll uh, finish them off here. Uh, then I want mission to. Whoops, wrong button. Yeah. Hide them so we can sneak attack them. Okay, so. Okay, that should be good. Luckily, I'm not trying too hard with this fight, mainly because. Oh. Wow, I've never. I did. Like I said, I did a trial run of this before, and I've never had this many characters die before. What is up with my odds today? Ready? It's like the game. It's like the game hates me or something like that. Are you kidding me? Wow. That's annoying. I'm. I usually don't die this much. This is stupid. Ugh, whatever. What? Like I said, I did a trial run, and I went through this with, like, no death at all. Like, I went through the rat ghouls, I killed them off with no one dying and taking a little damage. The only reason I'm not as... I'm not being... I'm being a little bit reckless. Oh, that's the sound of the game. The only reason I'm being this reckless is because I have a healer right there, so it's not that big of a deal, but... Well, learn from my mistakes. Anyway, there are some people please, who haven't been... Please, you have uh, to help us. We beg you. We don't want to end up like the others. Please help us. We can't end up like them. Well, at least you haven't turned. Hopefully you don't turn yet. I've brought the serum. Uh, let's see. Who are you? Why are you locked away from the rest of the village? We know why, but we're going to ask anyway. We have the rat ghoul disease. It is only a matter of time until we are transformed into terrible creatures like those who attacked you when you first came into the pen. It is too late for them. Soon it will be too late for us, and we will transform into those horrible rat ghouls ourselves. Worry not, I have the cure for you. You you have a cure? Please give it to me, please quickly, before it's too late. Now obviously you could basically be pure light side is just doing it just because if you want to be dark side and get uh, something else from it, uh, I think it's a random like healing item or something like that. It's usually nothing that great, but you can't you can't coerce them. Or you could just be a dick and just ignore him for more dark side points. But we're being good, so let's give it to him. Quickly, I must inject it before it is too late. Yes, I feel it working. I feel the disease burning away. It, it's like a miracle. I am cured. Thank you, Upworlder. You have saved us from a fate worse than death. I only wish I had some reward to give you. Maybe you can find something worthwhile in the wreckage of that Republic escape pod. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot that if you if you pl keep playing while you're weak, you have the paint expression even the, during combat situations. It's funny. I was just happy to help. We should go now, Upworlder. We're anxious to return to the village and see our families again. Thank you once again for everything you've done. Well, we get experience, light side, and we finish the quest and mission vow. Veo, sorry, levels up. We'll do that here in a second. You amaze me. I wish Whoops. I had some type of reward to give you. But we outcasts have nothing. All I can offer is the gratitude of the entire village. I really, I'm really so sorry about that. Like I was, my button was on, my finger was on the button to start the conversation, and it just skipped the first part. Basically, she said she's surprised that we uh, survived and healed them, and we took the risk. So sorry. Anyway, we heal. Good. All right, now we can uh, level up. Yeah, mission vow basically. They try to get her close enough to our level, so that uh, basically all characters are not too far behind. So anyway, just level up her class skills and give her, and always go into treat injury because if you do use her in combat, you want her to be able to be effective at healing yourself. Now, feet wise, like I said, it really depends on how you, if you really want to get in her combat. It she's not the best two weapon fighter, but that might be the most effective way to do it. Um, the problem is, is because she doesn't get so many feats, it's hard to really warrant uh, uh, leveling up as a scoundrel. What I really suggest, I mean, you 
like I said, if you want to make her a combat veteran, go for two weapon fighting. But if you want to kind of have her be mainly a skills monkey like she's supposed to be, I'd probably just upgrade dueling and uh, basically her ability to hit when she needs a sneak attack is probably the best way to go and upgrading her skills. Um, I really don't see a need for, because of how high of a skill monkey she is, really improving any of these skills, these skills higher. Kind of really unnecessary because she gets enough points anyway. So anyway, for for this, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna use a I'm gonna keep going into dueling personally. Like I said, I'm not really gonna use her for most combat situations. The only reason I'm using her now is because yes. well, I don't have any other party members. I have to use her, and not she's a terrible companion. She just has her a specific. She has a specific party role that she needs to take a, a be aware of. So anyway, let's talk to Rukil and give him his apprentice's his journal so we can uh, so he can find out where the promised land is greetings once more upworlder do you bring news of my apprentice have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people uh well i don't know about that but i do have her journal it is as i feared then she joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause but though i am saddened by this news there is yet hope by finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You will guide us to the promised land. Dude, I have other things to do. Like, I need to get off this planet. Guide you, but I don't even know where the promised land is. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see the mantle of destiny that cloaks you. Perhaps old Rukil knows you better than you know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years in the Undercity, cast down into the darkness. I know the legends and history of our people, and now you must learn it too. Oh good, a history lesson. Great. Ah, uh, sure, why not? I'm not trying to be a dick. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine swept the planet. The rich hoarded food for their own use and the poor were left to starve and die. From what I've seen of Terrace, it doesn't look like much has changed. Except for the upper city, people here are just as bad off as the poor in your little history. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. That's a terrible idea, personally. I mean, it's I mean, it's the same with our jail system. We just cover them all together, but we don't even try to fix the problem. We just move them somewhere else. I mean, <laughs> that's what happened with the British in this country of Australia, you know? I mean, not, not saying Australians are like that today. It's just that's the course of happened, and then they just formed their own society. Luckily, it became better off over time, but still. Uh, because not most of them were political prisoners. Not all of them were just straight-up bad ones. Anyway, uh, is that how you came to be down here? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the Upper City. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace, a life devoid of all hope but one, the Promised Land. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. Uh, how, do, how can I do that if, even if I don't know where it, what it is? Legends tell of a self-sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity, where droid servants tend to every need. For many years, I searched for the Promised Land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. Sounds like a myth to me. 
Something to give the people here some false hope to cling to so they don't go mad with despair. I have collected many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. Perhaps with their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. So, one, we need to recover more journals to find out about this promised land. And two, I, believe, I would say that the promised land is like fairy tale hogwash. But remember, folks, we live in a... Star Wars is a world filled with space wizards. With lightsabers. Or weapons of light. So think of that what you will. I have one of the journals because, the, you know, the, uh, the apprentice gave us one of the journals. So, uh... Yes, Upworlder. Well done. However, I see that this journal alone does not have enough clues for me to solve this mystery. Too many pieces are still missing. I'm afraid that only with all three journals, my grandfather's, my father's, and my apprentice's, will I be able to discover the location of the Promised Land. I will leave this journal with you for safekeeping for now. Perhaps it will aid you in your search for the others. I wish you luck, Upworlder, for the sake of the entire village. So if we need to find these journals, we know they're not in the city, or not in the city proper. They're probably going to be in the sewers. I mean, where else can we go? So, let us, let us finally explore the sewers of this place and see if we can, one, we can find Zalbar, two, we can find our way to the Black Volcar base, and three, see if we can find those, uh, those journals for the old man. Old wrinkle skin, as it were. So anyway, let's go. You can choose either uh, sewer entrance to enter. Either way works. Uh, they all—they'll actually all interconnect. You can actually basically get to the sewers multiple. Hey, Carl, you're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them. It's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Fixie's my friend, not my babysitter. Geez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. Why does that make me think of our society today about uh, social media? Uh, I, I shouldn't talk, mention stuff like that. Let me just say that that comment works for all t t uh, times and ages, folks. It is almost immemorial. Anyway, uh, yeah, every once in a while in the game, if you have the right uh, session of party members together, uh, in certain areas you can activate party conversations between the two of them, and it just basically gives you insight. Unfortunately, there's not as many as I'd like to, and I don't remember how to activate a lot of them. I'll try to, or I'll try to look them up. But, you know, like I said, you have to have kind of the right combination and be in the right place. And usually they'll come in this situation or talk about each other. So, but, you know, I'll, I'll try that. But anyway, uh, we can either try to tell them to calm down or try to antagonize them. Obviously, we want them to stop. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. They do sound like a, a, a father and like a daughter arguing over something. That's kind of funny, really, when you think about it. And Karth's probably that old, but uh, anyway. Now that we've finished completely exploring the Undercity, we now find our ways to the sewers. Can we find our way through the sewers? Can we defeat the Gamorreans and save Zalbar? And will Mission Veo keep her promise to help us get into the Black Volcar base? Find out next time on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and may the Force be with you.